Okay, so I'm still joined by, by Munash here. We are, we are going to continue from question eight. Okay, so you'll be helping, you'll be answer, you'll be asking questions on your on your behalf, you guys. Okay, so we, we think that uh, it'd be a helpful way for you to, to learn. So question 8a, it says write down the largest four digit number in base five. Okay, so this is this one, how you go about it is, uh, um, I'm actually like impressed with uh, Zimsek these days because they're asking, you know, the the, the nuances of, of the topics, the, the really important stuff, the, the little things. Okay, <laughs> so if, if you if you if you are in base two, you only deal with two numbers. Base two is the computer language, so you only deal with two numbers. There, one and zero, and one and zero. And then base three, what numbers would you deal with? What do you think? One zero and two. Zero, one and two. Yeah. So it means that you you'd never include uh, the so, the number itself, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so it's still still the same thing here. So if you're in base five, what numbers would you include? Zero, one, two, three, four. Up to four. Yeah. Okay. So if if you want to you maximize your number, you want to be a, a number as large as possible. You should so use four. You start with four. Yeah. You you start with four, and then it has to be a four-digit number. So it has to be. Oh. Okay. Okay. So that's that's the that's the trigger part. So if, if you get this this part right, then you're okay. Okay, so sometimes they can even ask you, so let's say um, uh, 3, 2, base n. Uh, let's say 3, 2, base, base n. Then you ask you to find the, the values of n, the possible values of n. n would be equal to what? Base 4. It can be 4. It can be what? It can be, it can be 5. 5. It can be 6. It can be 7. It can be 8. It can be 9. It can be 10, and so forth. Okay. Because you also have the 16 and some other things, although we don't okay. we don't study them in maths. So here it simply means if 3 is included, it can't be base 3 and it can't be lower than base 3. Okay, so it has to be after the, the bigger number. Okay, so this one you get 4444 four, 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 and the base 5. Okay, so that's it. And then here you're asked to convert 111 base 8 to a number in base 7. So how do you go about it? You, you, you'd say this. Okay, so conversion from number base to another number base. You have to go through, you don't have to, but you have to, the normal way is to go through base 10. 10. Okay. So what you do is you take your number. So it's 111 base 8 like this. So you have to put your labels. Okay. So your labels, you start labeling from the unit digit, from the first digit here. Uh, it'd be zero, 0, 1, one two. 2. Okay. Yeah. So what you do now is do you, you take your number first. You multiply it. You multiply it by the base. To the power. To the power. Label. Two. Okay. Then plus, take your number, this one, you multiply it by 8 to the power, oh, your one. label, 1. Then plus, you take your number, you take your base, you multiply it to the power, 0 this time. Okay, so the, the, tricky, the tricky part here is making sure that um, you, you get this, this right. Okay, so using brackets, it goes a long way. Okay. So if, if you if you want here you can say one times six ten. The, this this step I uh, no no times six ten sorry times six 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 to four okay. So eight squared it's actually go to sixty four. So here would be one by eight. So good. And then here would be one by what? By one. By one okay. So this one is the tricky part. Some students they would write eight here. It's not eight. It's it's simply one okay. So here you'd get uh, sixty four, then plus eight, plus. Plus one. one. So sixty-four plus eight. What do you get? You get seventy-two. Seventy-two plus one. Then you get seventy-three. If you want, you can write base ten. Okay. So, but then it still is seventy-three. Okay. Or no, if you don't put any any number base, it means that the base is ten. ten. Okay. So here, after doing this, to convert to base seven, what you do is you use your your T diagram, just like what what we used uh, uh, with the uh, when we wanted to uh, sit in the we uh, when we wanted to express. Uh, that number to it's the, the product of its prime numbers if you still remember the only difference here is that you should only divide by the number base only okay so here the number base would be seven so if you're saying seven into seven then you one. get one seven into three seven. is zero remember what? three remember three seven into ten one remember three three exactly seven into one zero remember remember one okay so it, at last, it should be that number zero. Remember, I mean the one. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you should read bottoms up. Okay. So bottoms up, you yeah, up it to be one, three, three by seven. Okay. And then the the, the other tricky thing, although, although you know it's not really required, you don't read this as one thirty three by seven. 
because it's not 133. 133 means 133, but this is not 133. This is 133 one, per seven, okay? okay? It's not very important, but then it's just uh, an interesting fact. So you, you're happy with this? Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, great. So we're going to move to to the second part. The second part, okay, it's actually question nine. Question nine, in, uh, it asks us to factorize. Okay, so you you have this number here, it's uh, x squared, right? Yes. This is y plus one, then minus y minus, minus one. one. Okay, so here, uh, how many terms do you think we have? I think we have um, five, three. We actually have four terms. For the, the the terms the terms are then the numbers that are that are uh, you know you know if they are separated by by a plus or a minus then they are terms. If if you if you want to see how many how many terms we have here, you can just expand this one. So you get x squared y plus x squared like this, then minus y minus one. They they could have even given you this and say factorize completely. Okay. You know you know you know the reason why I'm asking you how many terms are there. Why? Just because if you recognize that there are four terms, then you know the method that we are supposed to use factorize this okay. you're supposed to use the method to match the brackets okay okay so here what they do what they did was that they actually matched the bracket for you already and so, so they actually uh, gave you a bracket where it you just have to recreate the same bracket here as if you are you are factorizing quadratic expressions if you still remember so you here you'd be uh, x squared y plus one okay so minus it would be y plus one as well. If you figure out minus, then this one it becomes plus. This one it becomes plus as well. Okay. So you recognize now that you have this and this. They are the same, same. bracket. Okay. And the reason why I wanted you to uh, know again, just to recap, the reason why I wanted you to know how many terms are there is that this is a very common method for where you have uh, num where you have terms, four terms. You always use this. You always match the brackets. Okay. And then after matching the brackets, now you say x squared, then minus 1 here. Then you say y plus 1. Okay, so what, 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 what I did right there was that I, I took y plus 1 here, and then I took the, the coefficients, and then they made the, their own bracket. The reason we, we, we take this, by the way, is that it's, it's similar to just factoring out y plus 1. If you factor out y plus 1, you say y plus 1 into this, you get x squared, right? Yeah. Then if you say y plus 1 into this, you get minus 1. So it's still the same thing. It's just taking the coefficients and then taking the common bracket. Okay. And then you're done. Okay. So you, you're happy with this? Yeah. If you want to make sure you've done it correctly, you can still multiply and then it has to give you the same number as the number you've started with. Exactly. So yeah, 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 I, would, I, would, I, would, I would say you, you should do it during revision time. Okay. So after you, you're done with everything, uh, how would you revise? Instead of going there and then you're checking, oh, did I factorize correctly? Don't do that. Okay, just do what Munashi is telling you. Just uh, take your number, expand it. And then if you go back to the same number, then you know that you've done the, the, the correct thing. Okay, so that's, that's actually a good point. And uh, so we, we, we can move over to question 10. Question 10 A it says um, log 4 of 64. Okay, so you asked you cal to calculate log 4 64. You don't use a calculator. <laughs> yeah. So you don't use a calculator. So this is this is there are two ways to go about it. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll show you I'll show you the the normal one. Okay. Which which anyone can do. And then I'll show you also show you the, the interesting one. Okay. So the, the normal one would be you say let log this four sixty four you go to go to x. Okay. So this equation. You are forming an equation. Okay. Okay. So there is, uh, according to uh, uh, one law of logarithms, if you take this one, the base, take the base, kick the answer. You get the this one. You push it over to the other side. Okay. Okay. So this is some sort of transformation. So the transformation you should know what we are transforming really. So this one, the base, take the base, take the the answer. The base kicks the the, the answer to to the top, okay. and then it kicks this one over. So you have this one. So yeah. So why doesn't sixty four become negative? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't become negative. So the transformation, I uh, just remember it in steps. Okay. So what you're doing is you have this one. When, whenever you have, uh, let's say log this a b equal to c. Take this one a. Take this one power. Okay. So a to power c. Kick this one over and then it becomes b. Okay. Okay. So sixty four. It's not becoming sixty four just because it's not like we are taking it to the other side simply 
it's different. Mm. It was actually part of this big logarithm. And then we have one law which allows us to do this. Okay, so that's why we, we used it. Okay. Yeah. So after doing this now, you can say 4 to the power x is equal to 64 is equal to 4 to the power 3. 4 to the power 3. Yeah. So if you, if you know, then you can say 4 to the power 3, then x is equal to what? Is equal to 3. Since, since, since you're told 4 to the power x oh, is equal to 4 okay, to the power okay, 3. Okay, okay. So 4 to the power x is equal to 4 to the power 3. That means x has to be x has to be 3, three okay. okay but but then the the, the the reason i asked you what 64 or four, 64 is 4 to the power what was that most students would not know okay and then it's still fine if you don't know if you don't know this is how you, you do it so you have 4 to the power x equal to 64 okay mm -hmm. uh, okay okay Let me... okay so here you have 4 to the power x equal to 64 Okay. okay, and then you don't know what four to the power, mm -hmm. what what sixty four is, isn't, or what power? As a cube. Yeah, root. exactly. So is is a cube. So here is is a cube root exactly. So here you have four to the power x equal to equal to sixty four. What you do is you say two to the power because two is it's a common base for okay. four and four for sixty four, right? For sixty four, for four and for sixty four. Okay. Sixty four you can express as two to the power something. Four you can express as two to the power something as well. Okay. Okay, so this one would be two to the power two, to the power x. And then 64 is 2 to the power 8. 2 to the power 8. 2 to the power 6. Why is 6? Yeah, so 2 by 2. 8, 4. By 2. 8. By 2. 16. By 2. 32. By 2. 64. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. okay. So here you now have 2 to the power 2x equal to 2 to the power 6. That means what? 2x equal to 6. Since the bases they are the same, the, the powers must also be the same, okay? okay? So x is equal to, you divide both sides. So x is equal to, you divide both sides by, by 2, then you get, you get 3. Okay. okay. Then that's it. So it's still similar to you here, the, the, the answer. Okay. But then that's not the other way that I was telling you off. The other way that I was telling you off is to, you'd say, log this 4, 6 to 4 here, like this, okay? So after saying this, what you do is you uh, express here, you have to create 4 here. So it'd be equal to log this 4. I'll tell you why you have to. So here it'd be 4 to the power 3. Because 4 to the power 3 is equal to 6 to 4, right? Yeah. But then according to one law of logarithm, you can actually kick this one to the side, right? Okay. So it becomes 3 log what? This 4, 4. Okay. Log this 4, 4. Log this x x is always equal to 1. When these numbers are the same, it's, it's always, always equal to one. one. Okay. So this one will be equal to? To one. Yeah. So it get 3 by 1, which is? 3. So this is a faster way to, to work out the same problem. But then the, if you don't know your, your math very well, then it can become like really problematic. But then this one, it's, a, it's another way. This one, this way you should know. Okay. Uh, so let's, let's do the B part really quickly. So the B part says log 8 divided by log 16. 16. So how, how 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 do you think we should we should work this one out? Um, first of all, I think we should put it in base four. In base four, how? We divide. We use the t diagram. Okay. So if we use the t diagram, this one, how, how would we how would we express it in terms of four? Um, I'm not sure. So one, one, one way, one way to, you're actually on the correct track, but then it's just not for, okay, so it's actually two. It's two. Yeah, because eight, eight, you cannot ex express eight as four to the power something. Okay. So between, between eight and, and 16, the common, the common base there is two, because two. you can express okay. eight as two to the power something. You can also express uh, 16 as two to the power something. Okay, so it'd be log uh, 16 like this, then you go to two to the power, Power three. Two to the power. Six. Oh, sorry, I mean um, four. Two to the power four. Yeah. Yeah, like this. So it'd be equal to what? So this one, you still remember my law? Yeah. Where you kick this one over. Ah. So you can kick this one over to the side. So it becomes three log two. two. Over four log two. So your answer is one. Times 
There's three over four, then we get two over four. So you get three over four. So that that one would be your answer. Right? Okay. Yeah. So that's 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 how you'd uh, work out the the same problem there. Okay. Okay. Are you happy? Are you happy with this? Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So there is another way that's really, really, really complicated, but then I don't know whether I should tell you that way. <laughs> that one it's it's really, really, really complicated. So there is there's another way to work out the same problem. You use this transformation here. So you use this uh, law here. Okay, so log this A B equal to log B over A. B over log A. A. Okay. So let me write my A properly. So yeah, you can you can change this one to this one, right? Yes. So it'd be log what? This one. Sixteen. Log base sixteen. Eight. Yeah. Like this, right? Yes. So you can say equal to x. Then you say sixteen for x equal to eight. Okay. Then here you say two to the board. Four four. It's equal to two to the board three. Four x is equal to. X is equal to. Three four four. Okay, so this is this is another way to go about it. So the, the the reason I'm telling you this way is that in paper two you're given a calculator. Okay. And then you have to sometimes they they'll give you this. Okay. So when 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 you're revising, what you do is uh, don't don't even don't even like uh, work out using using. Uh, so when when you're revising, let's say they they give you, so here they give you work out log base base six base sixteen eight. So they 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 give you this question here. The confidence, their confidence is that you won't be able to work it out with with the calculator because your calculator doesn't work okay. out base sixteen. Okay. Yeah. So the way that you do it is that you just transform it. It'd be log what? Eight over log sixteen. So whatever whatever answer you get, you once whatever answer you get, just go on your calculator and say log eight over log, log 16. sixteen. Then you get the the same answer as this one. Okay. Then you know that you have done the correct, correct thing. thing. Okay. So we would, we would do this uh, at length when we uh, revise the the uh, you know the paper two and and also the revision tips and stuff. But then this is essentially how you go about it. And please, the, this log, log this. You can be given log eight of well uh, log eight over sixteen. Okay, so if you're given this, then you can say log uh, eight minus log sixteen. Okay, but then if you're given these ones, they are logarithms dividing. So you're not supposed to. It's it's not related to this. Okay, so yeah, so that's that's probably it for for this question. Okay, so this is question nine and ten, and I think we'll stop here. Uh, I think we'll work out up to question fifteen on YouTube. We'll, we'll put that stuff on YouTube. And then sixteen, uh, and then question sixteen and, and forwards would would put that on our website. Okay, so if you want to have a full experience, and um, access more content, exactly, go on to my website. Exactly, so it'd be it'd be good for you. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.